Hey guys, in this Spage R Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a this or that filter where the option you have selected stays on place. And this is very simple because I have created a plug for you, which you can use for free. And I have also created a Figma file, which makes the asset creation very easy. And after you are through all the options, there is one last option that will present it above the user's head. So. Let's start with this tutorial. Hey again, so let's create this this or that filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating, we have to make sure that we have all the assets we need to create this filter. The first thing we will do is to download the block I have created for you. This is a ready-made block you can just insert here in the Spark AR Studio and then just insert some textures and your filter is ready. So just go to the description and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox page and here just click on download. After you have downloaded the files, just yeah, unzip it on your computer and then we can import it here in the Spark AR Studio. For this, we go to our assets panel, then we click on the plus, go to asset and here we click on import. Then search for the folder on your computer and then open the this or that block .ar block file. Just click on it and then click on open. Then we can see this block in our assets panel. Now we can just drag and drop this block into our scene panel. And now we already have this white square above our head. When we select the block in the scene panel and then go to the right hand side, we can see there are a lot of inputs. The start texture, the R texture and all the option textures we can load into this block. At the moment we don't have any graphics we can um, yeah, insert here, but we will change this now. So I have also prepared a Figma file for you, which you can just open in your browser and modify it. So you can just um, yeah, upload your own pictures and so yeah, customize the filter for your needs. So go again to the description and click on the um, link for the Figma file. Then you will end up here on this page and here you can just click on open in Figma. After you have opened the file, it will look like this. Those are our 10 options, which we will have in the filter. And this is the start card. And now you can just, yeah, um, play around in this file. For example, you can change this text um, to um, filter or whatever you want. I will just leave it like that. And here you can also just click here um, in the, on the items and then just can customize here, um, for example, upload another image or just yeah use text. Here is also an icon. You can um, yeah change this icon, for example, when you want to have the text a little bit higher. You can just change it in the icon here, and everything else is yeah changing. So when you have everything um, the way you want it to, then just select all the art parts. And then on the right hand side, you can scroll down and click on export layers. Just click on it and then it will exporting. And then you can save these files on your computer. I will just yeah, create a new folder with graphics and save it there. So after we have done this, we can come back to the Spark AR Studio. And now again, go to the assets panel and click on the plus. Then go to asset and click on import. Now search for your graphics, select all of them and then click on open. So after we have imported our files, there is one important step we have to do because now Spark AI wants to compress all our graphics we have just imported. We don't want this because this lowers the quality of the graphics. So for this, just select all the textures Go to the right hand side and here set the compression from automatic to none for all three device types. So after we have done this, we can start inserting our graphics into our block. So for this again, go to your scene and click on the this or that block. Now go to the right hand side and here you can just insert your textures. Now for the start texture, we will 
um, of course select the start graphic if you want to create the graphics um, in Photoshop sketch or any other um, software or app for example in Canva just please make sure that all the files are in a squared format so they are here for example 1024 times 1024 this is very important otherwise um, the image will get stretched so now we continue here for the or texture we use the or and now texture one two three of course four five six seven eight nine 10. Now the filter is almost ready to upload, but at the moment we can't start the filter. We just have the start card, but we also want to start it. So we have the options to choose from with a head nod. When you select your block and then go to the right hand side, on under inputs you also see this start input. And now there is a checkbox. When we activate this checkbox, the filter starts and we can start selecting um yeah our items but yeah we want this start be triggered with the recording start or with the tab on the screen i always recommend to do this with the recording start um, because when the user is not satisfied with the outcome they can just delete the story and record it again so this is more or less a automatic restart function so now we um, deselect the start Go to the left hand side and restart the filter now we will just open our patch editor and now we again select the this or that block go to the right hand side and next to the start input we can see a little arrow when we hover over it it gets yellow just click on it and then you will find this yellow patch in your patch editor now as i already have said i want to trigger this filter with the recording start so I go to my scene, to my camera, and then I just drag and drop this camera to the patch editor. And now when you have inserted it, you can see this purple camera patch. Now we can just connect the video recording output with the this or that block with the start input. And now when we hit the record button, the filter starts. But we also want to have a prompt at the beginning of the filter that says yeah hit the record button to start because otherwise the user don't know what to do. So again we go to our scene, select here the device object, then we go to the right hand side and here we can find instructions. Here we click on the plus and here we search for record and then we can find this tab and hold the record button to start from. Just then click on insert. Then this instruction will be a conditional instruction. So we can also create this here. So just click on the create button next to conditional. And then you have to find the patch in the patch editor. So here is the patch. Then just for the option, select the tab and hold the, rec the record button. And here we need another patch for this because we want to show this prompt when the record button is not pressed so we need a not patch to do this so go to add patch and then search for not then here we connect the video recording output with the signal input of the not patch and then the output of the not patch um, gets connected with the show input of the conditional instruction and after we have done this yeah we can just use this this or that filter by pressing the record button so yeah let's just play around here with the files um, with the textures and then you can create very easy your own this or that filter i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye